Hey students, welcome to our lesson school. Today we are going to cover exercise 6.4 of chapter 6 that is angle and its property of class 7 NCRT mathematics. So let's start with the question. Well, this is exercise 6.4 and we are going to solve every question of this exercise. Let's start with the first question which is is it possible to have a triangle with the following sides? We have given this side. We have to see whether this is making a triangle or not. To find out whether it is a triangle or not, we have to see the sum of the length of any two sides should be greater than the third side. If this statement is applicable in a triangle, that means it is a proper triangle. So we have to see, we have to plus every two side and compare with the third side. So let's solve them. First, let's 2 plus 3 is not greater than 5. It is equal to 5. So no, it is not greater. Well, other two sides are 3 and 5, which is equal to 8, which is greater than 2. Yes, it is greater. That means third part is 5 plus 2, which is equal to 7, which is greater to 3. So only one statement is not correct. So that means it is not possible to have a triangle of this measurement. Moving to the second part of this question, we have three measurements, three, six and seven. So we have to same apply the formula. Sum of the length of any two sides should be greater than the third side. So let's plus two sides and compare with the third side. Three plus six equals to nine, which is greater than seven. So yes, it is greater. 6 plus 7 is equals to 13 that is greater than 3 and 7 plus 3 equals to 10 which is greater than 6 that yes it is greater that all the three equation is correct that means it is possible to have a triangle moving to the third part of the question well we have this measurement 6 centimeter 3 centimeter and 2 centimeter we have to put this in this formula and find it out whether equations are correct or not and is it possible to have a triangle or not 6 plus 3 equals to 9 which is greater than 2 so yes it is greater as you can see 2 plus 3 is 5 which is not greater than 6 2 plus 6 is 8 which is greater than so yes it is greater all the equations are not correct because second equation is wrong so it is not possible to have a triangle of this measurement moving to the second question of exercise 6.4 which is take any point o in the interior of the triangle pqr as you can see and solve the part of this question first is op plus oq is greater than pq so pq is this and this the formula is same length of two sides should be greater than third side so yes if we add these two we will find that it is greater same is oq plus or is greater yes it is greater as we can see third part is or op is greater than rp so yes it is greater than rp moving to the third question of exercise 6.4 and third question is am is a median of a triangle abc is ab bc and ca is greater than twice of am well let's see in triangle amc ac and mc is greater than am this is the first equation and in triangle a m b a b and m b is greater than a m so sum of equation we have to add both the equation and we will find that a c plus a b plus m c plus m b is greater than a m plus a m that means the equation is correct because a b and c a and bc is greater than twice of am 
Moving to the fourth question of this exercise, which says ABCD is a quadrilateral. In this, we have to see is AB plus BC plus CD plus DA is greater than AC and BD. So we have to solve in this way. Let's we can take ACB as a triangle and ADB as a triangle and ACD as a triangle and the last one as BDC as a triangle. So in triangle a, ACB AB plus BC is greater than C AC. In triangle ADB AD plus AB is greater than BD with that's the second equation. In triangle ACD AD plus DC is greater than AC. That is the third equation and the fourth and the last equation will be like this in triangle BDC BC and DC is greater than BD. That's the fourth equation. We have to add all the four equations to find it out whether the equation was correct or not. AB plus BC plus AD plus AB plus AD plus DC plus BC plus DC is greater than AC plus BD plus AC plus BD. That means we can take it as we have 2 AB, 2 AD, 2 BC and 2 DC. We can take as a common and multiply with them 2. Same we can do to the right side. We have 2 AC and 2 BD. Well, you can see right here. So we can cancel 2 because they are common. So the equation is AB plus BC plus DC plus DA is greater than AC plus BD. Let's move to the question number five, which says ABCD is a quadrilateral. In this, we have to see whether AB plus BC plus CD plus DA is smaller than twice of AC plus BD. AC plus BD. So in this, we have to make four equation and add them to find the answer. So let's see AB plus BC plus CD plus DA is smaller than twice of AC plus BD. So we have four triangles taking O as a midpoint AOB, triangle BOC, triangle DOC and triangle DOA. In triangle AOB, well, we can say that OA plus OB is greater than AB. That's the first equation. In triangle BOC, BO plus OC is greater than BC. That's the second equation. In triangle DOA, OD plus OA is greater than AD. That's our third equation. And in triangle DOC, OD plus OC is greater than DC. That's our fourth equation. As now we have four equations, we have to add all the four equations to find the answer. So we can write the equation in this way. In this, we have to see which are common because the equation is too long. As you can see, we are taking the common like OA is common, OB is also common, OC, OC is also common, OD and OD is also common. And now we have to see whether we have taken common here, we can put in a bracket and write twice that means we have to multiply them to make them twice twice of oa plus oc in a bracket and twice of od here we have to write d plus ob is greater than ab plus bc plus dc plus da so if we can take o as a common here also we can say 2ac plus 2bd is greater than AB plus BC plus DC plus DA. So twice of AC plus BD is greater than AB plus BC plus DC plus DA. Let's move to the last question of this exercise, which is question number six, which says the length of two sides of a triangle are 12 centimeter and 15 centimeter. Between what two measures should the length of the third side fall? First, we will measure the length should be smaller than the sum of two sides. The length of third side should be smaller than the sum of the both other side. If we add 15 and 12, we will get 27. The third side should be smaller than 27. 
let's do the second measure the length should be greater than the subtraction of two sides the third side should be greater than the subtraction of the other two sides if we minus 12 from 15 we will get 3 the length of third side should be greater than 3 then only it will make a perfect triangle so this was all for the exercise we have covered every question of this exercise if you want to see videos for another exercises keep browsing agalasem school till then bye bye